you, Virgos. This is an X reading. This is for the 13th through the 19th. This is to see if it's likely that you and your ex will come back together. And um, it's going to pull some energy for you guys. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, so it won't resonate for everyone. I wish it could. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it, and subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Alright guys, let's see what's going on for Virgo and their ex. Virgo, what's going on for my Virgos? for the reading is the priestess opening up using your intuition following your heart doing what you feel is right intuitively okay your current position is the world letting cycles in old cycles that you know involving things and people that no longer vibrate on a level with you Getting your balance, getting your focus, you know, starting something new. This is the other person, Ten of Swords, possible Gemini that you're dealing with here, or either you have Gemini in your chart. Um, this person is also ending something. This is a painful, painful ending, though. It's like an abrupt ending, almost like the tower. Um, is basically shattering the ego, breaking things down to a minute level to rebuild and restructure. Letting go of old thoughts. They're trying. What you want is to see things clearly here. Go into this new cycle not being confused not you want openness you want um transparency let's not hide things because i get the feeling that you know you yourself are a very transparent person what you see is what you get and you just want the same in the other person what they want is to feel secure they want to feel secure financially. They want self-confidence. Um, they just want to be happy. But it involves finance. It's something tangible, though. They may be struggling financially at this point. What you need is a queen of wands to feel sexy, to feel alluring, to use your intuition because the Queen of Wands is very, very intuitive. This person, this person knows all the things to do. They make shit happen regardless. Like they can make a way out of no way. This is the Queen of Wands. And look gorgeous while doing it okay what they need is a six of wands they need to gain their confidence I feel like here falling under the nine of Pentacles this is realizing that there is more to life and more out there than you know what they initially think needing to feel secure within themselves I feel like it's like they need to they're stagnant
they're stagnant. They need a sense of security. Someone else involved? This would be a yes. Sorry. You're feeling somebody here. <laughs> Falling under the Queen of Wands. Somebody that makes you feel like the Queen of Wands, okay? And that's what I'm talking about. Somebody that's obviously making you feel like they do have transparency. They don't mind telling you how they feel about you, how you make them feel. I love it. Love it. Definitely. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know how this person's going to feel now. Judgment. They're deciding. But what is so, you know, it's a little sad. You have already decided what it is that you want. They're deciding about you. Actually, you know, I get that they're deciding they're trying to make a decision, make a judgment call about being with you or being alone. Because keep in mind, their confidence level is down over here. So before they can actually be with somebody else, they need to gain the self-confidence and self-love that they need. Because you can't love somebody else if you don't love yourself first. Scorpio energy. Now granted, your two of cups may be with this person as well. I feel like you have decided that you want them. But it's definitely love between you and someone else, whether it is the other person or someone else, your ex or someone else. You're feeling the love between the two of you because whoever this is, it's not one cup, it's two. Feeling it with somebody else, soulmate love. Soulmate love. Is it likely? Yeah. If the other person turns around and looks at those two cups right there, for sure. For sure. And I think they will. I think they will. I think they will. I think that they just, you know, they have this level of betrayal that they have gone through. You know, they went through a horrible situation, whether with you or with somebody else. And they're just at a stage where they're trying to feel comfortable in their own skin again, trying to, trying to, you know, build themselves up financially, as well as their spirit. They want success, and I feel like they do want success with you. But, you know, right now, being that they have gone through something, because they have the Ten of Swords with the judgment, and they're mirroring each other, um, there was an ending for them. There was definite, a definite ending for them. And um, they're deciding on what to do. I feel like it's only a matter of time before this Six of Wands turns around and sees that there's victory with you. Right now, they're just more focused on themselves. I don't think that the focus is not on you. I just think, you know, more of the focus is on themselves right now. And that's just it with the judgment. 
they're going to turn around and see these two cups as well. They feel it. It's just kind of hard for them to accept, I feel like, right now. Not really accept, but to, um, to just rush into things because they've been hurt. Okay? You know, this reading, I feel like not you so much, but the other person um, also has an ex. I feel like you're their ex, and they also have an ex that made them feel this ten of swords. Okay? So, in your reading, we have Gemini. We have, um, of course, you, Virgo. We have Leo, Scorpio energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, and um, yeah. So that is your reading for the 13th through the 19th, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.